the attention span of any customer is very very small so in those few seconds you have to catch, catch. his attention and you know you have to communicate that and i was looking to for a switch and then i thought so what next so i can do production i can do sourcing i can do marketing i can do sales yeah. so what is it <laughs> how do i make my resume <laughs> Another episode of Inspiring the Future. Today we have Abhinav Deep. We have an amazing 17 years of experience in various department, divisions, and uh, industries. So we're talking about sales, we're talking about marketing, we're talking about production, and I don't know what not. So he's been there, done that, and I think there's going to be a lot of takeaway from today's conversation. So thank you for being here, Abhinav. Thanks for having me here, Shoganya. Thank you. So it's really amazing. I think the kind of background that you have, we are really hoping to. pull out a lot of information from you and help out the audience to kind of understand how this uh, you know industry works yeah no problem so um, is there anything before we start that you would like to add as your uh, you know background in the in the different industries that you've been in so see like everybody uh, when we started i w- i was actually not very clear what is it that i want to do yeah. should i do engineering should i do something else yeah. what is it that will be best for me so a lot of confusion there things kept happening i went into engineering that got that got placed in uh, volvo aisher as my first company you know then the decision uh, of you know which uh, department to choose uh, what should i do should it be manufacturing yeah. should it be sourcing should yeah. it be you know sales service so there are various options designing yeah. but then you know a lot of action i could see that was happening on the shop floor so i yeah. thought this is the place Production. to be yeah. and that's where i started you know so the first day at office on the shop floor i was learning how to you know uh, uh, bolt on uh, components to a chassis of a truck uh, uh, you know uh, also in being in production you know i did a uh, lot of road testing so yeah. driving trucks i was getting to drive trucks and buses so that was quite exciting for me you know then from there moved on to sourcing yeah. you know uh, was a steel purchaser for quite uh, two two and a half three years wow. uh, 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 then you know things kept happening then 2009 the recession came in yeah. and spot prices for steel fell down below long term contract rates at yeah. which we had bought the steel so ancillary stopped buying from us so yeah. that was a time purchasing for steel stopped and that is when i got an opportunity into product planning for the bus vertical in uh, right. volvo aisha so then from there i got into the product line and started uh, planning products uh, that was an immense immense learning phase and almost 3 years there <coughs> then uh, slowly started getting into the market side of it you know so now i've designed a product that has superior value proposition now how do i market it how yeah. do i talk to customers yeah. about it yeah. so preparation of those kind of materials and all and that's how marketing happened <laughs> so uh, right now heading the marketing with sani of course it's been yes. uh, four years in that uh, field and of course you're doing really great in that and sani's been doing really well yeah. uh, even yeah. after the covid hit and you know it was a big hit for sani especially with the with all the production that is happening in china right so yes. i think from there again you have come back and uh, with a bang i think marketing is doing really well for for sani right now so yes. kudos to that so in so many fields so many things and so many variety of things right there's so much of the different aspects of all these uh, divisions that you've touched If yeah. you talk about production, it's completely different. Like on the shop floor, being hands-on mm. with everything, it's a lot of work. It's not yes. easy job. Yes, it's something that we don't see. Uh, mm. We don't talk about because when you talk about profession, you're only speaking about these, you know, fancy marketing and designing and you know sales, maybe somewhere and accounts and all this is there. But then pr- production is something that is very vital. and yes. something that is very difficult also it's not an easy job to be very done very difficult and one of the most critical uh, yeah. functions for a manufacturing firm yeah yeah so that uh, it's because it's, see we can market we can uh, promise customers something and you know production is what ensures the right quality of product that goes into the market yeah and you know uh, having a very fancy marketing campaign can help you for only some time yeah until unless yeah. you are supported by a good product yeah exactly and so <laughs> it many times it's happened also long term. so yeah. many times it's happened also we like it's been marketed to crazy and everyone's like odd about it they start buying it and we've had you know there there yes. has been problems yes. with that and it has yes. to be taken back production had to be again pulled out from yeah. from the market right so it's very important that aspect has to be very very crucially i think uh, 
uh, queue seed before it actually gets out into the market true, so true. that's that's yeah. amazing so from there to now marketing uh, headings marketing for sani i think it's amazing so how has your experience in marketing been so far so it's been uh, uh, quite good actually i am enjoying it a lot and uh, Uh, one key differentiator that i see uh, with me is the product background that i have mm. so uh, that understanding of the product has helped me a lot uh, see any time when uh, we you know start uh, from scratch about designing a product mm. so first of all uh, we basically get into the market go uh, you know uh, do our research talk to the customers and find out the gaps what is it uh, that they need or what are the unfulfilled needs that the customers have and we start from identifying those needs and then planning our product how our product will fill that need okay that understanding is very critical to have for a marketer hmm. in a, you know in order to run or design a successful marketing campaign yeah. your campaign should talk about uh, you know fulfilling those unmet needs and you know see the attention span of any customer is very very small so in those few seconds you have to catch, catch. his attention and you know you have to communicate that this is your problem statement that this product fulfills so i think that connection between uh, what product and how to market it is what uh, is something yeah, uh, you need yeah. that and it's it's is it a lot easier with the kind of product that you have right now since it's a large of course a large product that we're looking at right every product that you have <laughs> yeah, is a large yeah. product these so are huge it, machines yeah exactly so these huge machines i mean is it easier to kind of uh you know can get the information from from your customers to understand where what is lacking and where and kind of deliver that to them so in the sense of identifying you know the right people to talk to Uh, it can be easier yeah. you can say because uh, these are not mass market uh, products so uh, there are the buyers for these machineries are uh, uh, limited hmm. okay it's not like a colgate toothpaste that every household would have correct so uh, in terms of that yeah uh, you can uh, clearly identify the people to talk to and understand but then yeah so uh, you are not the only player there are many uh, oems today in the market yeah so yeah. competition is there of course i'm sure <laughs> but um, it's like i said it's uh, even though the competition is there i think sani especially is doing really well in the market so yes um, sure. so it's i think it's a lot easier to uh, reach out to the customers if not make the sale but a lot easier to reach out to the customers yeah so understand. over the last uh, few years i think uh, we have done a lot of uh, efforts in uh, uh getting into the market and establishing mm -hmm. our products our products have also supported us quite well mm. so the products uh, uh that is one very good big differentiator i would say right and uh, we have been able to build a brand and uh, you know uh, the pace at which we are introducing new products and getting into new uh, you know applications is also something that has uh, really helped us and i think for you uh, as a marketer uh, in this specific industry like you said it's a lot uh, it'll be a little bit more easier because of the background that you have since you've already been on the shop floor you've been uh, you know you've handled the machinery in uh, mm -hmm. of that scale yeah. so i think when you uh, go out to sell or uh, or at least uh, you know market the product you mm -hmm. know the the even the smallest details i think that's very important to to make that ma marketing campaign yes. a success mm -hmm. you need to know about the product not just from what the brochure reads but actually the product itself yes, right yes. so that i think is it's it's a major uh, um, thing for you so okay we'll come i can keep talking about <laughs> i think marketing itself yeah. i want to come back to you itself first so if you were to talk about your journey so far not just in the professional aspect i could you could talk even uh, personal as well yeah. if you were to tell me three events in your life that uh, you know were life changing or it's something that really uh, made the person that you are today i'll go back to my uh, school days so the first event that i feel that had a very very major impact was when i started uh, sports okay so i start i used to play table tennis okay i can say at a semi professional oh. so sports has taught me a lot actually and a lot of what i am today there is a lot of 
आई थिंक कंट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम द स्पोर्ट्स दैट आई हैव प्लेड सो सी स्पोर्ट्स आई थिंक मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इट टीचेज यू टू एक्सेप्ट डिफीट एंड देन यू सो डिफीट और विक्ट्री इट्स नॉट परमानेंट इट्स रैदर अ प्रोसेस सो यू गेट डिफीटेड देन यू ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट you know what are the shortcomings and then you start working on them and then you come back again stronger mm. okay so uh, that uh, wiring <laughs> has happened yeah. through the sports that i have played in my younger years second i would say i had a lot of passion about fighter uh, jets mm. so i wanted to be a fighter pilot all my life okay so i have dreamt of being a fighter pilot and so much so that you know uh, when everybody else was was preparing for engineering or medical yeah. so at that point in time i was like uh, so confident that how matlab uh, there is nothing else for me i want yeah. to be a fighter pilot and i did not sit for any entrance exam in my first year so <laughs> i i tried uh, nda yeah. i think two times three times could not make it so i cleared the written i cleared the interview part and all then some medical issues and all could not make it so what to do next that was when uh, my father basically came in and then so you tried what you wanted to do no so <laughs> i think so engineering is the safest bet then so so then again started to prepare uh, took a break for one year and then uh, got through again right wrote uh, you know competitive exams and then yeah. through a triple e came into mesra so that's how i got into engineering so uh, that is the second i think uh, which was a turning event so i wanted to be a fighter pilot and now i was looking at uh, mechanical engineering as to what next so yeah. the next closest thing to that i could see was automobiles yeah. so that that's how i uh, took mechanical as a trade so i started uh, studying mechanical engineering so that was i think the second point third i would say uh, when i was working for volvo aisha uh, so i briefly mentioned i was a steel purchaser there right so <coughs> we used to buy steel from uh, larger steel firms on long term contract prices so we got some savings in terms of the steel price and then we used to sell it to our ancillaries who would again you know process the steel and send the components back to us to assemble now when 2009 uh, crisis hit uh, the spot prices that is the open market price for steel basically went below the long term contract price so i have bought steels at higher rate yeah and my ancillaries are now not purchasing for me so i am left with crores of uh, inventory of steel so uh, no clarity what to do now so that was the time when uh, you know the company uh, took a pause and stopped buying steel so around 4 6 months we were sitting idle and all and that is when this opportunity came up in the product management group of the company for product management for the bus vertical uh, which was led by uh, mr anil baliga is one of uh, you know uh, my mentors from whom i have learned a lot and that was the time when i you know from plant operations i basically came into the market side of things okay and we started working on various types of projects of you know buses ambulances and special application vehicles that was the time when uh, jnn ur mission was getting you jawahar lal nehru yeah. urban road renewal yeah. so a uh, new design of buses you, usually we used to see those uh, flat you know truck chassis converted into mm. buses so mm. this was the time when low floor buses were coming and you know special bus transit uh, road dedicated yeah. corridors yeah. for buses yeah. and low floor buses so yeah. that the passengers can walk in mm. so those kind of projects were my first products that uh, i worked nice. on uh, in aisha so that was i think the third major event that crisis uh, steel crisis when basically uh, my direction shifted into the product thing and from product then i went on into sales and marketing and all so in uh, in the product aspect like what all uh, what all were you taking care of the designing part of it like how it no so when we talk or? about product management it is uh, more of what is it that will that is required by the market right so you start with understanding what is the need of the r 
so you go into the market you meet with the end users uh, yeah. you ask them relevant questions so the questions you ask are very mm. very important mm. to identify so a lot of time it happens that people are so used to using a product that they don't know that there are some needs which are not met yeah or there are some issues so yeah. you need to as a good uh, product manager you need to investigate and find out those hidden uh, things so he'll be talking about 10 things about mm. the product you will have to find out what are those unspoken uh, uh, you know uh, reading between the lines mm. uh, and there you will get insights so this is basically okay. the main person who gives the information to all so the other verticals to kind of do their the product specifications yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. so what is it that we should make that will sell tomorrow exactly okay so that research then gives you the insights those insights you take back and then you basically work on them and then you design your product specifications and say that this is what i want to make and then you know once it gets approved there's a business case what investment will be required and all and then uh, once it gets you get start working on it then the design team comes in and then based on those requirements they'll design the product then the sourcing team comes in and then based on you know uh, uh, what design has designed these guys will start developing the components and then you know the production team will come in those uh, components that have been developed yeah they'll do the first pilot lot and all they'll make the chassis roll out and yeah and then the market team comes in and then they have to you know ensure that the first lot gets seeded into the market yeah Then, you know, so before then before again, all that happens hmm. the initial when when you come back with the research and this is what the you know the customer wants does it go back to the customer once it's created to understand if if you're going the right way or does it just yeah so so <coughs> that's where i was coming to yeah, actually yeah. when it gets seeded into the market yeah. then again the product guy comes in and then basically again so uh, does a research with those uh, uh, then the reviews products. happen yeah yeah and then you compare that this is what you asked for and this is what you've got yeah so if it's okay then you get a great green light uh, please go ahead for production if not then you again start from the design what are the shortcomings then again you that whole cycle gets repeated and that's when you know uh, you are able to deliver what is required yeah. that's when you yeah. declare start of production so this is how it generally happens in you know automotive and commercial vehicle industries that i worked in amazing so so many i mean aspects of it right so you talk, you you spoke about the production you spoke about the product line you spoke about now i think we're going to get to sales as well we've spoke about the marketing <laughs> yeah so in all these aspects if i was to ask you you know what is this one uh, one characteristic of yours that you've always carried with you throughout for all these uh, positions i know um, as uh, as in all these divisions you'll need different uh, skill sets of course you know there are so mm. many skill sets that you require to kind of, kind of fulfill all these uh, roles but mm. what is that one characteristic that kind of held you to keep going and keep uh, working towards the goal see the one word that comes to my mind is uh, adaptable okay yeah <laughs> so because uh, i've kind of so it's it's i think the adaptable thing Uh, whatever the business requirement was yeah so yeah. accordingly you adopt you, yourself yeah so <laughs> uh so there was a point in my career when i was looking to for a switch and then i thought so what next so i can do production i can do sourcing i can do marketing i can do sales yeah. so what is it <laughs> how do i make my resume <laughs> so that that was a point but uh, <laughs> adoptable i think is the right word very true very true i think with the background <laughs> that you have completely makes sense for you so if uh, let's talk about the sales aspect of your life so where where did the sales part come in okay so this was after uh, aishar i joined the mahindra group okay and uh, there we had come up with a new vertical which is into construction equipment hmm. so we so we call it mahindra construction equipment and we had launched uh, backhoe loaders that were completely okay. made in india so prior to this there was some foreign collaboration with hmm. each and every company so this was completely made from scratch product that we made in india and uh, i was the launch manager for that product so we launched that product it uh, was doing well okay so we ran a lot of campaigns for awareness basically so this actually is not a product that uh, you know uh, 
that you can make a tv serial and show on television because these the customer base for these products is very scattered mm. so so there are, there are, so i told you that in a way doing product research it is good that you know exactly which customer to talk to yeah but these customers are very limited and scattered all across the country so it is also very difficult to find them find them <laughs> okay so uh, so we actually did a lot of uh, below the line activation to just communicate that mahindra now makes construction equipment also oh. okay. first that part of the <laughs> yes so it's not just tractors yeah. and uh, you know yeah. suvs it's also construction this is equipment there, is huh? also there so that we did and so uh, and then you know after a moment uh, you know it came then what what else how else can we support the business okay so i was managing the product part of backhouse i was also doing the marketing part of it and that was when i also got into digital part of it you know promoting on digital platforms and all and then what else can we do so mm. for that particular product segment there's a, a lot of requirement that comes from the government side also because that product is also used for solid waste management so a lot of municipal corporations and you know municipalities they also use this machine so that's when you know uh, i proposed that we can do tender business also and that was something where we were not present at that point in time we did not participate in any tenders till then so then uh, our business head was uh, mr kairas vakharia at that point in time and i think uh, then my boss was mr maruti mathur who was also the sales head at that point in time so i said why not you please go ahead and so, so from from there basically it was a new business unit so a new i can say a profit center that mm. got created uh, with me uh, that was looking at tenders now yeah so uh, and then we started filing tenders we and one good thing that happened was uh, the government shift to the online uh, marketplace mm. that they call as gem yeah. government e marketplace yeah. yeah so that made it a lot more convenient to file uh, more tenders but still we had to travel a lot to attend the pre bid meetings and mm. uh, you know tender openings and all uh but then g gem obviously is a good platform and it helped us a lot i think we did quite well uh, over i think last uh, i think 2 2 1/2 3 years we sold more than 500 550 machines really? in government business alone so and there, <laughs> from I mean, nothing to the name there, itself yeah. makes a lot of different right and again it was you have yeah that kind of a customer base a big big learning for me you know working with governments filing tenders yeah. documentation <laughs> there's a lot of paperwork that goes in there meetings <laughs> yes 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 so i was landing at 12 uh, or 1 in the night and then taking off at 4 or 5 in the morning My traveling goodness. 20 days a month so <laughs> it was tough uh, but yeah uh i enjoyed it thoroughly <laughs> so do you like travel uh, mostly yes yes i yeah, love because all of you i think I all travel. of your um, uh, line of work lo- looks at a lot of travel i think in fact that is uh, the main reason when why i left manufacturing mm. because i saw there my... nothing yeah they have <laughs> so to be on the shop floor so you have to be on the shop floor yeah. every day But, uh, <laughs> these things you know gives you an opportunity to that's travel true. and move around that's true and now in marketing more so i think that there's yes. a lot of travel that happens because uh, since you you're handling the india marketing uh, for sani right now yes. right so of course you have to be everywhere you need to <laughs> make sure that all all the aspects are covered so a lot of travel must happen yeah, and a, as a company we are very active also yeah. in yeah. market activation so a lot of events keep happening Um, in fact, I would say on a daily basis, there's something or the else happening somewhere in the country. Yeah, yeah, amazing. But do you usually uh, go like ground so level all, even now? So not all. I could not attend all, but I have a good, uh, very good, very supporting team all across the country yeah, that yeah, helps I'm me sure. with all these events. So it must be an inspiration to uh, to a lot of people that you work with, right? You, I'm sure that there are a lot of people who look up to you, especially for the kind of uh, leadership that you you know hold. Um, but if i was to speak about and we briefly i think spoke about your mentors as well but if i was to talk about you know people who inspired you in in over period of time who would they be so my greatest source of inspiration that i can say is uh, uh basically my father so so we share the same genes from there only that um, uh, honesty integrity and all that what i feel is uh, uh that i've got from my father only so 
and a lot of struggle that uh, they've gone through so my father <coughs> they were six they are six brothers okay and my grandfather very well educated you know at that point in time an acharya in uh, jyotish vidya in ganit and uh, then masters in sanskrit he was the principal for jawahar navodaya vidyalaya and all. Uh, but six brothers and limited resources so a lot of uh, struggle was there then my eldest uncle my father comes in at number 4 yeah so my uh, so his eldest brother he was the first engineer from the district and also a topper before that yeah. in gold medalist all those so once he got a decent job uh, and then he started supporting you know the family and uh, with his support then the other brothers also you know in their own different yeah. fields uh, went out got educated you know uh, well placed uh, well settled now and then the next generation that is us our yeah. generation everybody is doing so well in their yeah. own uh, yeah. respective fields yeah and when i look at that transition that has happened in one generation so it is their um uh, you know uh, sacrifices and their efforts you know that have translated into what we are today yeah yeah <laughs> so yes i draw a lot of inspiration from my father amazing i'm sure um, for how far you've come in life i'm sure i mean he plays a vital role in you know how he's uh, left that mark and and yes. that kind of uh, you know the way looking forward kind of a thought process with you i think it's always been yeah. just look forward and not not to yes. look back so that's amazing so as a leader if you were to talk about uh, you know one trait that you think is very must for a leader to have uh, to if not inspire but to make sure that the peers are doing well uh, hmm. what is that one trait you think that the, the leader should have see uh, <clears throat> it can differ uh, with different people but for me i think uh, <clears throat> you know making so see i cannot be everywhere and i cannot be doing everything yeah. at the same time yeah so the people who you work with or the people who work for you uh, are really very very critical and making a good team becomes very very important mm. you know so whenever i basically choose uh, somebody for my team uh, and i don't have any shame is in in saying this i basically uh, while talking to that guy i think is this guy better than me you know for the job that uh, i'm talking to him or i'm discussing with him about so if i'm talking to somebody for digital marketing i basically think does this guy know more than me hmm. okay if i'm talking to somebody for events do, do he does he have more experience than me will he be able to manage the events better than what i can do hmm. you know so print media does he know more than me does he have more contacts than me so that way is what happens is so my team members at their respective jobs i'm you know happy to share they are better, better than me and that is what makes so ultimately it is me only yeah. <laughs> so yeah. uh, i think that is very very important to put the right people at the right position yeah and that is what will make your life a lot easier exactly exactly because like you said you can't be in all places at all time right you yes. can't you can't be looking uh, overlooking everything possibly yes so yes right people at the right time for sure but uh, how to choose these right people because that's that's where the challenge comes and um so if to make the question a little bit more uh, easier or you know to to make it more clearer so i was um, so a lot of our listeners are gen z's the today's generation right so you must be dealing with a lot of the new generation as well mm. um so how is the experience or how is it how because it, the thought process has changed it's not mm. what it used to be it's not mm. how it used True. to be for our, us mm. or the generation before us like mm. our parents you know it's not like that anymore and mm. um they're a lot more focused on the culture aspect of a company they're a lot more focused on uh, balance you know having balance in life and not yes. working 50 mm. 70 80 hours like you said you know mm. uh, reaching back at 1 and leaving at 4 it, it <laughs> doesn't do it doesn't cut it with them anymore yeah. so there's yeah. a lot of different thought process that has come into the industry now or in, into the the workplace mm-hmm. now mm-hmm. so you have to kind of accommodate to all of that so how mm-hmm. has your experience been when you're kind of picking those uh, gems to be in the position that they're supposed to be in yeah so one obviously is you know the guy has to be better yeah uh, good uh, second is you know that alignment of uh, what 
that particular person wants to do next in his life or in his career with what i want or the organization wants him to do mm. in the in in this the the career move that we are talking yeah. about yeah. you know that alignment is very very important mm. so i very often i try to understand from that uh, person that what is it that he wants and if what he wants aligns with what i want then i think it's a good fit mm. <laughs> okay so uh, yeah a lot of time you know for youngsters i would say it is very very important to understand what they want yeah i think that's what's hmm. what the first thing that's missing so i'll know thing. what i want yeah. but until unless you tell me what you want i'll not be able to help you there if it's yeah. a right fit or yeah. not very true i think yeah, that clarity is missing in them uh so i will not say missing i have so now i think uh people i think i feel people have a lot of options mm. now which was missing previously and yeah, people are true. a lot more clear also many people are lucky to have that clarity yeah. to know what they want from yeah. their life know yeah. what they want to do but still i see a lot of people ready to do okay mai ye bhi kar lunga i'll do this also <laughs> i'll do that also yeah. i can manage this also i yeah. can manage that yeah. also just to you know get a job or something yeah. Yeah. so uh, that i somehow get you know turned off with yeah. it so yeah. they should know you should be focused yeah i think that's very and important and know what you want and know what you want yes. very true amazing so let's come back to talking about you a little bit more mm. i would love to know you know if there is anything that one thing that people can rely on you for the people who know you at least if there was one thing they would come okay yeah you know iske liye to abhinav ke paas hi jana hai what would that be so the it's wired into um, me so honesty and you know the uh, sincerity to do do a job so if i take up a job um, any anything uh, i ensure that it gets you know done the way it should have been done so until that happens uh, uh, there is obviously you know i cannot uh, sit I <laughs> sit, <laughs> sit, sit on something yeah. so on the back of my mind you know things will yeah. always keep yeah. Uh, yeah. going on yeah so it has been that you know in other functions also like sales marketing not just production sourcing everything so i think that's a great characteristic to have i think it's very important for uh, succeeding in life also yeah so even though see all those skill sets i might not have on the day one on the first day but then you know if i take up something then i ensure it happens and whatever learning has to happen or you know should have been there i kind of pick it on mm. and learn on the job and yeah <laughs> try to deliver yeah and i think it, yeah. that's also again one thing that's missing with the uh, with the new generation is you know learning going on learning <laughs> i think uh, that should never yeah. stop for any yes. generation for that matter, matter of fact yes. i think learning is very important it's it's actually a process so yeah. uh, see uh, today i want uh, something or i see that this is what i want to do uh, and i achieve that then there would be something next mm. that i would want to achieve yeah. or want to do yeah. so it's a continuous process you cannot stop at reaching to a certain exactly. level exactly you know doing a certain thing that this is what i'd want to do for the rest of my life you will get bored things will keep changing yeah you will yeah. get bored eventually and you wouldn't want you wouldn't probably do it as well as you were doing it earlier i mean if yeah. you keep doing yeah. the same thing over <laughs> and over again i think yes. you will want to just quit and and sit at home probably so learning yeah. i think is very very important If you were to give a growth hack to the uh, the new generation, one thing that you know would help them to shape their dreams into reality, what would it be? It can be more than one also. Uh, so first one we said uh, is to know yourself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you need to understand and knowing yourself, you know what is it that I enjoy doing. So I would, uh, you know, uh, advise to try as many things as you can. Hmm. Okay. So you keep. Uh, looking for new opportunities keep when when you are young yeah. you, you you should do this okay let me try this 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 see what happens in the process you also learn about yourself that what is it that you enjoy doing what is it that gives you most satisfaction mm -hmm. okay and uh, at the same time uh, there is this what i call uh, you know uh, theory of natural selection just mm -hmm. it darwin's apple mm -hmm. so uh, what happens is uh, 
सो सपोज यू आर गिवन टेन थिंग्स you do four things quite well yeah. you know four things you do okay and you know say two things you not so good you fail yeah so uh, not fail okay you uh, not so good so when next time somebody is allocating jobs you know you get the four things that you've done well you get more jobs you know similar to those four things mm. so in a way slowly slowly so see what happens you start doing more of what you are good at yeah okay yeah. and if you enjoy those things then you also start so it's a realization this is a process yes. of realization so when you start to learn more about yourself and also others who are whom you are working with or you know they also start to understand about you and so this is very important trying mm. many things mm. the definition of you know uh, success or achievement you need to be very clear so it is not uh, one stop that once i reach there this is what success is for me this is what i wanted in my life and i've got it it's a journey is what you need mm. to understand never mm. compare yourself with your colleagues each one of us you know has to forge his own path so it cannot be the journey cannot be same for both mm. or, or you know anybody whom my yeah. colleague or yeah. my friends yeah. you know somebody is earning as much somebody has become that this never do that so everybody has his own journey you need to just understand what is it that you want and it's a journey so amazing so i think one thing uh, that i would really want to ask you and really know about is if you were to rate all the aspects that you've touched based like all the divisions that you've touched based roles that you you know done so far in life uh, if you were to rate them according to your favorites how would you rate them so i'm talking about your production i'm talking about your product line i'm talking about your sales and marketing all of that so if you were to rate them as per your uh what how you loved it how would that be hmm. okay so <clears throat> uh for me yeah so at a personal level yeah uh, the first one would be marketing okay. it's my new found passion uh, passion <laughs> you can say yes uh, and i'm thoroughly enjoying it yeah uh, and obviously yeah so number 2 i would uh, give to product it is very 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 crucial to have the right product to market because for you know having a very good product is also a marketer's dream hmm. okay, you should get a good product to market what will you market True. about yeah this two uh, then third uh, is sales you know and just for the thrill of it you know it it gives you a high you know and that yeah. excitement that yeah. thrill yeah. Um, that kind of uh, you know nervousness on a yeah. month end you yeah. know will i be able to get those numbers or not and the the excitement of or the the sense of achievement when you get that numbers yes and that's true. that's amazing true, true. Yeah. that's <laughs> that's very very uh, satisfying and yeah then uh, i would say is production yeah and just just for that action huh? a lot of action will happen yeah. on the shop on floor, the shop floor things yeah. moving around yeah. you know uh their targets you know sales team is after you would would be production and then uh obviously sourcing is left yeah. so sourcing yeah. amazing amazing so coming to the almost the end of the show there's one thing of course i would still uh, you know want to leave the listeners and viewers with so one question is if you were to put your life into a book and name name it something and uh, you know the mm. reason why you would name it that So yeah I would uh, uh, say uh, the title would be going with the flow okay <laughs> because that is what you know my life has, has been, been till so now far. <laughs> so I never planned for all these things yeah, um, yeah. the direction was there yeah. but did not plan for it and things kept happening one after yeah. the other yeah. but I think it's a lot to do with your positive attitude also I think you've been very positive about what comes your way aha uh-huh. so yeah i accepted I, and i think one should be open yeah. to try out new things yeah. to accept challenges yeah. Yeah. you know and it has more than my personal uh, wish or desire to do that it has also been the need of the hour yeah. yeah so the business needed that and you know you are available <laughs> yeah. So no, that's great. So amazing. Thank you so much. I think it was an amazing conversation. We can go on and on about uh, you know all all of the division, all of the roles that you've done, but of course we have a time constraint there, but thank you so much for being here today and it was an amazing conversation. Thank you. Thank you Suganya for having me here. Thank you. <laughs>